guys, welcome back. I have got to get all these morons knocked out. But I can't. Let's peek on over and see what's going on here. Okay. Go back under. I gotta figure out how to get these idiots out of here so I can get going. Let's flip the switch because that seems to be sort of interesting. Ooh. Hey! Hey! What was oh, that? Right, I can't like that? Must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. Yeah, wiring problems. Why is the emergency button all the way over here? That's my question. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I hope the sisters of mercy approve of our. Uh, do I use chloroform again? Our Might as well. <laughs> Might as well use the chloroform again. Use it. See if we can knock him out. Knock him out! Come on, knock him out! Get him! Get him! Get him! You. Ah uh, well, forget it. He screwed up. Ooh. Fantastic. You trying my have a new toy? Body. A new toy to play with. This over the back of your freaking skull should work. Canadian whiskey. I'm pretty I hope sure that they're not importing. I'm pretty sure moonshine means you made it yourself. So I'm hey. pretty sure they mean that you hear something. Use, they don't import it. And time for night night. Matches. It seems to be an empty. He didn't get cut at all, which is surprising. Hide. Hide. What? What happened? You got knocked out. Yeah, don't search for whoever knocked you out. Just go back. Playing your piano. This is going to be the swellest yeah. speakeasy. In okay. So that's 120 not proof. Whoa. 120 proof. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not going to even. Never mind. Ooh, sign switch. What happens if I do this? Then what? What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, I go think up you're to right. the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? I get you rid of it. You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. He does sound very entertaining, though, doesn't he? Wake up, sleepyhead. Now you hit the panic button. Now I hit the panic button. Fantastic. That's exactly what I needed. That's great. Now... You go night night, and no one's around. I said night night, not inventory. Night night, night night. Hit him already! Ah, there we go. Bam! Right in the kisser. No, that was back of the skull, which wouldn't actually knock someone out. But we will go with it anyway. Uh, uh, oh, good. The universe hey is safe. Hey, you. Wait, and that's the I way it should you? be. Not for about forty years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They Quickly. were gonna kill me? Escape. Ah, uh, oh, crap. This isn't funny, guys. It's hilarious to me. I like it. I like this writing. They did an amazing job with this game. Absolutely astounding. Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Well, that one was really weird. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a, a long, long story. story. Exactly. Long and Lotello. And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. Awesome. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. Out of it. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Do 
don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! Oh! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? That would be bad. Uh, Sylvia. Do you know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. Well, no. Possibly. Yeah, sure. Are you G-Man? Uh-huh. Something like that. Sure. If you say Anything so. Anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? Never. Well, 30 plus that was years. A close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fainting out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kid Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's head Fantastic. out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Wrapping this one up. Good. And this has been a much longer playthrough than I expected. This is really good writing, though. Exceptional. So a lot of the same story as the movies, so it's light, right and long, and they, they did a great job capturing that. I mean, just mind-blowingly good. Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? Yeah, why not? See, McFly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. Aww. You've got a life to lead. Kids to raise and all that. Things are no, such I've things as they No, I've got to go to the are. bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh. Oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. Sure you will be. Uh -huh. I believe you. I believe you so much. All right. I wonder if Biff finished the wax job on my 4x4. I don't know. Dad must have used that to haul away all those books from Doc's estate sale. No kidding. When did we get a bug sapper? Well, if that's the only change in this universe, we are doing good. Not like the first movie, or the second movie, or the third movie. Massive changes. Hey, anyone home? There's yeah, something, wrong with my something key. screwy's going on. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. What are you talking about? Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty? No, yeah. that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a no, bad feeling no, about no, this. No, it wasn't. Me too. Are you in trouble? What are you talking about? What's the matter, Dad? Are you in trouble or something? This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Here we go. Mom, it's Marty, it's Mom. Me. It's just me, it's just me. It sounds like Marty. Must be a trick. It's Mom. Marty. It's me. Shame on you. I promise. It's How me. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Aha! I hope uh. the timeline has been this close. Um... When I was eight. When I was eight. When I was eight years old. I set fire to the living room rug. That's Did right. that happen in this timeline? Oh, Lord, what are you waiting for, George? <sighs> Let him in. It's good. It still happened in this timeline. Fantastic. Stupid locks. Marty. Oh. Oh my God, Dad. What, what happened to you? What do you think right. happened, oh. butthead? This is not good. I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. No, Whatever's I don't feel like on, it. I'm sure, we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Why did you multiply? Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. Uh oh, this is bad. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. Yeah, hold on. I just, I just got back to this timeline. I mean, seriously, hold on. Just let me ask the questions here. What happened? What the hell did you do to my dad? What happened Your to his dad? Dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. 
And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds! Duck! Ooh. Swing yeah. vertically. So now the tannins are some kind of minor Tannin? league mafia? Oh boy! Hey, oh! Who you're calling minor league? Oh, we may Tannin have made a mistake. The most dangerous crime family in we California. set up the whole gang? We got connections all over the place. We made no the war one of the worst gangs me? in the world. Through time travel. Holy yeah, crap. No. Nice water gun. Bang. Oh. Uh -huh. The lighter. Check it out. It looks a little too plastic. Mine. In gratitude for your continued service, JJ Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Oh my gosh. Uh, go under the map. Ooh. Swing and under. I got a question. <laughs> yes, just wait until, just wait until I. Uh, can't we call truce? Can we bury the hatchet already? Can we work Even together? Better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Uh, no. Ooh. We jump. Hey, and another thing. Did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. That sounds like me. That sounds like something Marty would do. Make a deal like that. Tell me. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Uh, jump again. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I like Here's that jump. I still don't understand. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do. I've had we have pick on lots of guys. Questions. It's kind of our thing. Okay, dodge. Oof. That actually would not have okay, worked. But I would dodge right into that one. You would nail me with it with just a little step further. How did you get? Why? How did you get so many brothers? Where did these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead. Birds and bees, you idiot. Duck. Duck and cover. <laughs> zap zap. <laughs> Ooh, constant voltage. That is extremely entertaining. Although it wouldn't have been enough to kill. Get enough to entertain. It's a cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Uh. Huh? Who? Uh oh. Kid. It's a not good one. No one in Hill Valley. Oh, Christmas here we go again with freaking stupid guns. Oh. oh, yeah, you dodged all the others except this one. Why don't you? I'm not sure the car's durability would work so well. This timeline's been compromised. No kidding. Doug, give, tell me something we didn't do this time. Ah, the car can still fly. Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. No, really? I kind of got that already. My whole nine irons and that. Grab the arcade. We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannens. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Yeah. Let's go to the well, past. Not the future. Past. Let's go. I love how the burning things are just midair like that. That's, the, that makes no sense. But it's really cool. I do admit. Man, this story just keeps going on. This is so intricate, like the last one with the time and all that stuff. Just locking in and getting back together. That's so cool. It's so incredibly awesome. This game is nuts. It's fantastic. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. Oh, the, the woman we met. coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. Yep, that one. When she does... History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Danny Parker. Parker. Hey, do you think he's Remember. related to Jennifer he's Parker? 
My girlfriend? Oh, I was going to ask about Spider-Man. Heavy. Peter In Parker. any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events... Can't climb walls? ...condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let kid know that you're the same troublemaker yeah. that foiled his attempt to kill me. I like it. I like it. You can't come in with me. It's hard Thinking to I do the whole beard you thing. You may be so. easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape oh, thanks, from the police jerk. and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript. <laughs> is it just me, or is that a bit of a place jerk to down. statement? That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Oh, sorry, I'm talking. <laughs> While he's talking. Okay. Oh, I'm back here again. It's speak easy. I can go back there. I don't want to go back there. I hate that place. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Okay. <sighs> oh, now with that hat and the mustache, that's like... <laughs> Even though he's walking. Strutting. Strutting that stuff. What the heck is this crap? Huh, it looks like Emmett's been busy. Wow. That's pretty cool. Can I play with huh, it? It looks like Emmett's been busy. Yeah, how many years has it been? I didn't catch the date. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I yes, right? Yes, ma'am, I am. Is there a problem with that? Do you have a problem with me? Yes, uh, ma'am. Yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down, straight down. The last stop before the inferno. I'm not going to hell, but okay. I don't fine. have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Oh god! Don't! No! The torment! Thank God! Thank you, Einstein. Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Harry. Harry? Mr. Callahan, what are you doing in that getup? Uh. I'm going undercover. I'm going undercover. How exciting! That's You'll have to give to me an exclusive easy. sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Huh. Water over the bridge. I've moved un on to bigger and better things. Under. Come under. by the gazebo under. when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ine and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that <sighs> speakeasy? You're going to blow me up, man. You're going to blow me up. Okay, I'm starting to run into the walls again. What do you mean, don't? Where's the speakeasy? Where's the speakeasy? You know, whoa, hold on here. Where am I going? Where's the soup kitchen? I thought I had to go to the soup kitchen. I'll be happy if I don't have to go to the freaking soup kitchen. I don't have to go to the soup kitchen. It's not in the soup kitchen anymore. Oh, thank God, it's not in the soup kitchen. I really didn't like the soup kitchen. It was a pain in the rear end. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Okay, that's easy enough to do. Ew. 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 You just go ew. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Uh huh. Bull crap. Who died and made you boss? Uh. Uh, is the option actually up there? Can you repeat that? <laughs> Boss Hog? What will you do if there's a raid? Uh... <laughs> like your ego. Jump for joy! Wait till Wednesday. Wait till Wednesday. Wait till Wednesday? Wait till Wednesday. Wait, Wait, was the first answer right? 
Did I get the first answer right? I might have. Who said you were worthy? Um. Doris Day. Oh, I did get the wrong. Oh, I can do this by problem. Who is the king of Siam? Boss Hog. Oh shoot! The answers change. Ah, oh, screw it. Who told you about this place? Place to call to my travel agent. What's the big idea? Uh, stitch in time saves nine. <sighs> Settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. How, how, how am I supposed to figure that out? How am I supposed to figure out the wackiest things to say, I guess? I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't know. I don't know what the password is. You annoy me. I'm going to get stuck here freaking again. This is going to be one of those annoying ones, isn't it? Who is the king of Siam? Ah. Uh, not boss. Um. The old gray mare? Well, it was worth a try. Who died and made you boss? Euronymous Bosch? Who told you to come here? Blunt force trauma. Boss Hog? Nope, that wasn't it. Dang, nabbit. What's the Who first one? Who is the king of Siam? Was that the Boss Hog? Boss Hog? I just keep answering Boss Hog. Who is the king of Siam? That's not Boss Hog. Doris Day? That's great. No solicitors. No solicitors. Ah, terse and to the point. Who's your commanding officer? Commanding officer, uh, Sir... Sir Galahad. Really? Is he as tall as he appears on screen? On screen, uh... Screens can be deceiving. I'll give it one more try. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, guys, I'm trying. It's just... This one's a bit of a bear. Who died and made you boss? I am I? <sighs> Who died and made you boss? At least he's only asking one question now. I can really freaking get it. Boss Hog? What will you do oh, boss Hog, if that's I it. break your leg? Uh, run. Well, no, limp. Um, jump for jump joy. Jump for joy? Ah, dang it. Who told you to come here? Bruce Springsteen? Okay, forget. Screw it, screw it. I'm just supposed to listen. I don't know. You know what, what I'm supposed will to do? You I'm gonna go check out. If I let you inside. Inside. Side with the enemy. What will you do tomorrow? Tomorrow... Roam the streets. Roam. Side. Inside. Roam. Roam the streets. I think there's a word puzzle here. It's a word puzzle! Who told you to come here? Who told me to come here? King of Siam is Boss Hog. No! Boss Hog. Boss Hog? No! He wasn't Boss Hog. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Right, right, knock on door, right, right. Dust. Door is day? What will you do ah, tomorrow? Day. Tomorrow. Do tomorrow. Do tomorrow. What would I do tomorrow? Wait till Wednesday? <sighs> I don't know. Freaking crap. Okay, stop showing me this. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. Ulysses S. What Grant. did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. I wish it was the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna go check him. I'm gonna go check him. Screw it. I'll do. I'll deal with that later. But I only have to do it once. Can I go in here? Nope. I guess not. It's an invisible wall. Okay. Can we? Okay. There's that. 
Don't stand by the window, you moron! That is not a good idea! That is not a fantastic idea. Okay, I'm gonna go check Emmett. I'm gonna go check Emmett. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna go check Emmett. I'm gonna check Emmett. Harry, you're just in time! So, uh, thanks, thanks for, for watching waiting. Einstein while I've been away. Thank it's been you a pleasure. So much. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he's been working with me for years. <laughs> uh, More like decades. Yeah. I wonder if that dog is like the eternal dog and he keeps living in this time paradox thing. I wonder if it's a paradox dog. That would be interesting. I don't think that's scientific, but it'd be very interesting. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? What's it doing? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. I uh -huh. don't doubt Got it. it. Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? It's Einstein. He always Watch experiments this. on Einstein. Poor Einstein, man. When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. Oh. Einstein! Oh, get him out of here! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. Freaking made fine car! Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Like, 60 years... Well, yeah, like 60 years before it's supposed to happen, wherever the foul... Much longer, I don't know. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Or problems. I can't break into the place. I can't get go to the court. It's locked. Guess I'll have to find no some kidding. other way to rescue him. I do admit it's kind of late, so I'd expect it to be locked. I'm glad there's no cars on the road. This would downright suck. Theater. I can go in the theater. Cool. Oh, this is cool. Frankenstein. See the original cool. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Oh, come on, man. I want to go in there. He's the original Frank, original Frankenstein in the movies. That would be freaking awesome. Shark thing? Can I say him that? No? Okay. Fine. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Um. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your time interactions change. with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. Slightly? I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments Flying will be car. forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this uh -oh. movie that I'll have the inspiration for uh -oh. my breakthrough at the expo. Oh. Doesn't have anything to do oh, with no. reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. Oh. But during that famous scene when Colin and Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the We're tower, to and that it. bolt of lightning struck, We're well, screw this one let's just say too. more than one brain was reanimated that night. Save Einstein! Damn, it's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. I've got flying to deal. Just get my younger self to flying car. and I'll handle the rest. Okay, that's easy. Just keep your head low, Doc. I'll be back soon. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. Flying car. Just a suggestion. Fly. Fly away. 
and I'm running directly at the camera even though I'm pressing the wrong freaking button again. Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Let's get the, let's, let's look over here. Isn't this cool over here? Take a break. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for That'd the offer, Mike. Really good idea. Once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your What's dog. What's that behind you? What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. Why don't you go look for your car now? And leave Einie stuck on the ledge? I'll, I'll take care of him. Never! Dogs I'll take are much more important than any silly rocket car. This guy's one priorities that doesn't right. Work at all. This guy's priorities right. Have you seen that Frankenstein seen movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. You better. You so you're really going to see Frankenstein to see tonight. It. I'd hate for you to miss it. You oh, don't worry. Nothing it. in the world would keep me from seeing a movie about a mad scientist with delusions of godhood. Cool. That explains a lot. See, um, what's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now oh, she takes every it. opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. It's very distracting. Uh oh, are we gonna get him and Edna mixed well, up? I'll go off and see weird. if I can get some help. You do that. Well, I'll I mean, stay here and see if lady. I can think of a way to get Einie off that ledge. But she's quite distracting, so maybe we can uh, use her to distract him. I hope. Well, I don't get much longer, so I hope so. I want him hey, to Edna. Say. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? What's with you and uh, What's with you and Emmett? What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Oops. Sorry about that. That was Now his very presence fills me fault. with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined Techno anarchist is preposterous. Good. Techno anarchist? Well, I guess he's messed up the timeline more than once. Oh, golly. I don't know. I need her to. Uh, nice song. What I'll was that song, song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh. No. Uh, maybe later. I'll be here all night. Don't you got anything else to do? I got a story for you. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Hot lead. Oh, what is it? Let's go with the hot lead. Um. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial Distracted. run. Trial run. Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public Speaking safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. There's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. 
flying cars of all the ridiculous juvenile you notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. Huh. I need... How'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, Long story. fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? I thought that was part of the sign. Well, I think I told the time I have I rescued Einstein, so I'll take that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the flip side.